Hello guys, and I'm um, doing something different today. I don't know really if this will be a full series, probably not. I don't know. <laughs> Honestly, it depends on if you want to watch it. But yeah, um, so basically, I haven't slept much lately, so that's why there hasn't been much content lately, because I simply... Oh my god, living with a 24-7 headache is hard. <laughs> it hurts. So much. <laughs> But yeah, anyway, I thought I'd do um, some Darth Mod Shogun to follow the samurai. Yes. That was a lot of word in. Um, the Darth Mod changes to the Fallen the Samurai campaign. I'm not entirely sure how much is different. I know prices seem to be different. Like, the Fortress is a lot more expensive. I think usually it's like only 4,500. But yeah. Okay. Let's get on with it. Shall we? I do want to build up my account. Um, yeah, it's just, just totally ignored that. Uh, yeah, Windows did that usual bloody thing of like, oh, hey, would you like to change your uh, performance scheme or whatever? Because apparently that's going to make a huge difference. Right, okay, so we have a shinobi, my shinobi. Dun, 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 dun. Let's see if we can get a sabotage in there. Probably going to need more men anyway, but I will. Oh my god, it actually worked. Holy shit, that really rarely happens. That did some okay damage. Okay, by means of practically none, but still, damage is damage, is it not? Okay, yeah, let's, uh... Let's not. <laughs> shit. Uh, should probably wait for more troops. Can send some more men there, probably won't be enough by far, but you know. Um, so really we just need more melee. Mm. Okay, we'll build this and then we can start building a deep seam iron mine. That'd be quite nice. Okay. Right, clan development. Well, technology, sorry. You know, it is clan development. I was correct, sir. Uh, minus 10% to cost of construction settlement. Okay, that's pretty damn good. Um... Hmm. We'll go with epic architecture. Really good little research there. Uh, diplomacy. Can we trade with anybody? No, we cannot. We are allied with um, Edo. Oh, Musashi. Yeah, they are just called Edo. Interesting. They do have a citadel at the start, so, yep. They're very, very well off. I'm quite jealous. I would love to have a citadel at the start. It would mean I would probably never need really any troops in my capital at all. But, you know, cannot have, ev have, can't have everything. Oh, great. Well, we are taking winter attrition, but, yeah. Hmm. Ah, garrison infantry, okay. <sighs> hmm. I could have done with a Gensha. Being able to distract the garrison would have been incredible. Okay. We just need to send more men into this. I would like to keep the siege up anyway. We can keep bombarding, keep doing some damage. Okay. If they do attack us, we could probably just fight a battle. Yeah. Hmm. We'll see how things go. Can keep reinforcing anyway. Okay. So he's going to attack me. I'm going to retreat because I'd rather fight a battle... Where he doesn't have his garrison, that would be the best thing. Shimoza. I would like to capture it, trust me. Alright, we'll stay in our own land for the meantime so we can replenish. We can keep bombarding. Yeah. I'm kind of happy to let him upgrade that so I don't have to, but yeah. Um, Yadakachi would be really nice. Hmm. Right. Either way, we're going to have to wait. Hmm. 
Ah. Scout army. That would be really good increasing the movement. Would be definitely. So we'll do that actually. There we go. And Zetan. I would have liked him to come out and fight me like a man, but he's not going to do that, is he? Oh no, actually he may do. That's pretty damn cool. That's good. Okay. So let's see. That's not that big of an army, really. I'm intrigued to see what it will do. I mean, if we attack, uh, we are going to end up facing the garrison no matter what, so it kind of sucks. Wow, the replenishment is ridiculously crap in winter. We'll wait till winter's over anyway. It's just bad for us, and it, it basically takes away our advantage. The Josei, by the way, have a fantastic little thing. The fact that they can replenish even any midlands, which is ridiculously good. There we go, spring is great. Okay. Has Shinobi ranked up as well, which is nice. Ninjutsu Master. Hmm. Ooh, that's pretty good. We'll go for the Ninjutsu Master. When Scouted for Armies. We'll go for the Scouted for Armies. I mean, that increases our movement range quite nicely. Okay. What does he have? He's not really reinforcing his army as of yet. There we go. We are doing some major damage. Ah. So, he will stay within the settlement, that's okay. I can siege him out. Then again, actually. Hmm. I think I'm gonna... Just pull that for the moment. I would really like him to build the tenant fields and etc. Because it's going to save me money. Honestly, and I, I'm, I'm that kind of person. I'd rather let them build it for me. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Um, we're going to need Yadikachi in the future. No doubt. Hmm. Let's all save up. What if all term Edo would have came and helped, well, come to help me, but no. Okay. Bombardment. No? No bombardment. Cadet school will be finished next turn. Uh, we'll give him some garrison infantry, so. Hmm. Suppose we'll siege now then. Yeah. We're not outnumbered that much. I mean, he does have a lot of guns. It's just. I, if I'm going to be facing him, I'm going to need to face him on the open battlefield. The guns are going to give me a headache, and I really, really do not want to fight in a settlement battle. Mostly because, obviously, he's going to shoot me to shit, and I'm going to lose a lot of men before I even get close. I'm going to lose men climbing the walls, and yeah, I can't... Okay, is he going to attack me? You're defending against the force of Koga attackers. Or Koga attackers. Yeah, okay, I'm happy to take this battle. I'm happy to fight this one. I mean, we do have bombardments as well, so that will be fantastic. So, show me the battlefield. That looks like some nice little hills over there. Alright. Hmm. Yeah, I think we got this. We'll have two bombardments of a few shells. Probably not that many, but will be enough. When the battle blows, that is. The Battle of Shiva, 1864. I would probably say Tall War Shogun is probably the best Tall War to die. Uh, Attila was kind of 
not what I wanted in such. It was very watered down from what it could have been. I mean, Attila was basically bloody fuzzy. There we go. Okay. Also, the, uh... Well, this game has the good engine. The bloody... Is it the Wallscape engine? I fall this shit. <laughs> it's terrible. Okay. So these guys can basically hide at all times. They're pretty douchebaggy. Like that. And apparently range has been significantly increased in this. Interesting. My god, they have a ridiculous range. That's incredible. Bloody hell. Hmm. Let's see. Oh, and we start with Neil Fire. Holy shit. That's actually really, really, really good. I'm trying to think how we could do something here. Okay. So I think what we'll do is we'll have these guys at the bottom. Have them on Neil Fire. Uh, these guys should be able to fire still. They still have longer range, that's incredible. There we go. Got some really long range capabilities. The uh, Matchlock Catchy have apparently the same range, that's quite nice. Yeah, Matchlock Catchy are a very underused unit. But they're actually not too bad, they're pretty good for like rear guard actions or just guarding flanks. I mean, they have guns and they're not too bad in combat, so you're not missing out on much. Okay. There we go. Interesting difference in unit size there. I wonder what explains that. Hmm, trying to hide the Yarikachi. No, we've got no chance in hell of hiding them. Fair enough. General to this side, and general to this side. Probably okay. I might deploy these troops somewhere else just to give them better firing position. Uh, like you might do. Okay. I mean, they do have cavalry in the way of their general, but we should be okay. It's quite nice having these guys with ridiculous range. They're really good. My god, you could hide. And as a Josiah, I can have quite a lot more of them than anybody else, so that's fantastic. Just need to keep the unit alive. So we'll have, um... 14 shells. Which is pretty damn good. I can use that. Yeah. I just can't get over this range. My god, that's huge. Guns are actually guns. Okay. There we go. Be in range soon. Bold Barbant still quite some way away. What's interesting is the army's actually charging me, which is quite nice. Usually they would not bother. Okay, we're going to see our first salvos fired in the game. Well, campaign game. Match like catch, you're going to feel the wrath. Yep, here we go. And they're dead. Oh, Jesus. Can we inspire that unit? Oh, my. Wow, they're wavering. Holy shit. They took some real ass damage. Bloody hell. A wonder how, sir. Uh, let's bring them back. Mm. 
and get them safely behind our lines. Okay, kneel by far. Come on, guys. There we go. So we're going to charge the Levy Garrison. Okay. Can focus fire on the center. He's cool. Can they still fire? Holy shit. Yeah, them. Oh shit. Okay. Calling the artillery. There we go. Should make that line run. Potentially. Come on, now they're running. There we go, there's some nice hits. Okay. No, they're not. Okay, what are they doing? Our morale is kind of all over at the moment. Really need to kind of break these units. Come on. Good. Okay, we broke them on that side. Come on. This unit needs to brave so we can get some guns firing. Come on. Probably do again, my general there. They're going to die, come on. Let's try and bring the uni out of here. Actually, we'll have them in melee mode. There we go. Other generals kind of in a bad position, but we'll be okay. There we go, we'll charge from the rear. There we go. That's all we need. Run them down. God, I love these sharpshooters. Good. Oh, the general's still alive. Game in there. Uh, we'll continue the battle just to get some more kills. Make sure we absolutely wipe out the army. As much as possible. There we go. Go on, shoot them in the back. Oh, well. Oops. Kind of shot one of my guys in the back there. Yikes. There we go. No. <laughs> 
Okay, we'll end the battle there then. Good battle, good battle. That was kind of close. The uh, changes to the combat is quite nice. Our speed level is worse and more outnumbered. Mostly, well, most likely because that unit is something that spawns at the start of the game and it might not uh, be the Darth mod size ultra instead of just the game's normal ultra. So, fair enough. Yeah, there we go. Prolific victory, but victory nonetheless. Uh, we were outnumbered by 600, so that was pretty good for us. Right, we'll do another bombardment, I imagine. There we go. Would have been nice to know how much uh, damage the bombardment did at the start. It must have done a good amount. Right. More Yadikachi next turn. There we go. Increasing our numbers. Uh, so we're good. Good thing here. Hmm. We'll combine these units. There we go. Yeah. Really not many left of them. We'll wait next turn for the other unit of Yadikachi. And then, uh... We'll probably just alter the battle. It isn't, isn't hardly anything left there. And with that, we... Could probably send out the... Oh, no, he's going to attack. Okay. So we'll just alter resolve this one then. Hopefully I don't lose the general. If I lose the general, I'm going to be so annoyed. I lost... For fuck's sake, I knew that was going to happen. I'll be okay. Rival piece of the Occupy, of course. Mito declared war on me. Fantastic. I'm joined by Ido. Are you kidding me? Wow. So immediately two people declare war on me. God damn it. Not good. Not good. <sighs> we'll build the cadet school then. Finish what they started. Okay. Common mistress. Huh. Wow, bottle chloroform. <laughs> that's, um, that's pretty interesting. Plus five to replenishment rate of all units. That's so pretty. That's really good for a Joe's Army like commander as well. That's ridiculous. Yeah. Um. Hmm. Okay, we'll go defensive. The night battles will be really good. Distrustful. That's good. Zardamio is only 19. Young bugger. Ah. Okay. So we have clay here, which is quite good. We can upgrade that, make all buildings cheaper. So we're at war with these two people here, then. Uh, what we can do is we can send out our shinobi. My shinobi. Da 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 da. Right. Um, Yadakachi. Hmm. Okay. Fair enough. Where is this a stronghold? How are we doing here? Yeah. That's good. Increasing our wealth. Uh, we should probably try and get... Uh, well, just just getting anything really that increases the unit replenishment is going to be ridiculously good for us. I mean, just being able to replenish everywhere, more or less, is fantastic. Uh, we do need a general in the army, but it's good. Uh, they're both good for now, though. Ah, <sighs> brilliant. Okay. Hmm. What do we have in this army? Is he actually going to go for a Hitachi? If you just go straight for a Hitachi, that would be quite a dick move, but a good move. There we go. Clock 
Plenty encountered. The new Marta. Ah, there we go. We can trade with um, Edo, so that's quite nice. You dick. Odawara? No. Saga? No. Okay, well, no one's going to take trade at the moment. Probably because we don't actually have ports as such, which we kind of need. So, yes. What was the happiness? Okay. Could we risk a higher tax rate for the moment? Ooh. No. Probably, yeah. It wouldn't really be too great for us, so yeah. Clan management. So we only have this guy. He needs to live. With his sour face looking wife. How far can he move? Hmm. He can probably reach his next turn. No problem. But we'll see. Yeah. I was gonna immediately attack, interesting. I think we're okay. I think we can easily hold this. I mean we have another thousand men. Bombardment? Yeah. Okay. I'm I'm feeling pretty good about this. Now the uh Yugatai on the walls as well, long ass range firepower. Basically used to snipe off his best units. Well, looks like we're on a good hill, so should be good. It's interesting with the settlement battles now, then. With the uh, range of the guns being increased, yeah. <laughs> it makes things a lot more deadly. You can really see why you need more numbers. Okay. Yep, our walls are completely full, so it's going to be kind of difficult finding room for the Yukatai. We'll start the battle and then we'll see where they come from. Okay, so from the rear and from the front. Um, Yadakachi, Yadakachi. Levy, 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 levy. Oh, oh. Okay, so put the um, Yadai on the front then. Where the Yadai? There we go. So pull those guys off. Okay. Right, let's get in those walls. Yeah. There's just so much range. So much. I can't wait to get more of these troops. Reload skill 24. So they're not the fastest at reloading, but they're very accurate. I mean, we can compare that to normal units, which is 17 reload skills, so they're more. Well, they're faster at reloading, but the accuracy is ridiculously. Yeah, even more ammunition as well. Keep some training as well, so... Hide whenever. Okay. So sort of like Yadda Catch on each side. I really got no qualms about this battle. I think we're going to win this one easy. Okay. They're marching to us. There we go. Mm, this grass bank is pretty good for them. Should see the first start drop.